Our next guest, Smithsonian Folkways Recordings, is the nonprofit record label of the Smithsonian Institution, the National Museum of the United States. This very special record label and its talented producers are dedicated to supporting cultural diversity and increased understanding among the people through documentation, preservation, and dissemination of sound. They believe that musical and cultural diversity contributes to the vitality and quality of life throughout the world and through the recordings seeks to strengthen people's engagement with their own cultural heritage to enhance their awareness and appreciation of the cultural heritage of others. On today's program, they're featuring their latest production titled Jazz, the Smithsonian Anthology. With us to tell us more is the anthology's co-producer and the director of marketing and sales for Smithsonian Folkways Recordings, Richard James Burgess. Welcome to the show, Richard. Thank you for having me. Well, tell me, why did Smithsonian Folkways decide to produce Jazz, the Smithsonian Anthology? There was a previous set called the Smithsonian Collection of Classic Jazz that went out of print at the end of the 90s. And it was so in demand, it actually went double platinum, that wow. we realized we really needed to reissue it. Uh, when we started to look at reissuing it, we, we realized we needed to update it, and that's when we started on the project. At first, we thought it was going to be a quick turnaround thing, and seven, eight years later, here we are. Oh, here you are indeed. Yeah. Now, tell us a little bit about the collection. Well, it's 111 tracks. Mm -hmm. on six CDs. Each CD is absolutely jammed full. Wow. And it covers the period from 1899, Scott Joplin, right through to 2003. The 200-page book, the whole thing actually weighs 2 pounds, 11.58 ounces. Wow. It's very, very substantial. And wow. each track has extensive notes and a beautiful black and white photograph photographs. associated with it. I each see of that. the photographs were very carefully chosen. It took a very long time to choose the photographs um, uh, uh, to tie in with that particular track in that particular period of mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and some of the photographs in here have not been seen before. We were able to source some quite rare photographs. So Richard, you're one of the producers. How long did it take you to actually produce the jazz anthology? More than seven years, and we didn't expect that, but wow. we had uh, hundreds of people working on it, actually. There were 42 expert advisors, a five-person executive selection mm -hmm. committee, 35 notes writers, uh, designers, and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. So uh, we really just wanted to make it the greatest set we could possibly make. That is absolutely incredible. Now tell me about some of the amazing artists that you chose for this anthology. Well, you'll find all the, all the classic artists are in here. Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, Miles Davis, Love Charlie them. Parker. Um, so, uh, you know, all, all, the, all the people that you're going to be familiar with are in here, but there's quite a lot of artists who somebody might not be familiar with as well. Uh -huh. And we also elected to come very close to the present. So the, the most recent track on here is from 2003. Neat. So uh, there are six CDs, as I said. They don't exactly fall in decades because we have more than six decades yeah, of yeah. jazz. But... Uh, you, it does operate chronologically. It starts with Maple Leaf Rag, which was written in oh, 1899 by Scott Joplin. One of my all-time favorites. Mm -hmm, that's a wonderful yeah, track. Yeah. And it ends uh, in 2003 with a Polish musician, actually, Tomasz Stanko, oh. who learned jazz from behind the Iron Curtain from uh, black market cassettes and from Voice of America broadcasts. So I think it's a, a wonderful expression of... Uh, how oh, jazz yes. represents freedom and the American way of life. Absolutely, very impressive. Now tell me a little bit about the packaging. We talked about it earlier, you told me. I find this very interesting, uh, the yes. cover and how it looks. Well, we, I, I, I really love the uh, translucent plastic box that it slips in and out of, but yeah. the actual uh, colors and the font on the front of the package are based on an early 1950s Folkways series that was produced by Frederick Ramsey for Folkways Records founder Moses Ash. And uh, there was a, an 11 album series called Jazz. Uh -huh. We used the exact same font as that series. And the colors that the letters are in were the original background colors for each of the 11 albums. Yeah. So we wanted to tie it in with the history of Folkways Records. Really beautiful and very vintage too, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah, yeah it, has cool. the, it has that quality. It's really cool the way you can open it and kind of it just sits and you can read while you listen to your artists. We specified lay flat binding. It's very observant uh -huh. of you. We specified lay flat binding so that you could sit and read it and it's for students as well. So if oh, somebody's wow. studying jazz, you don't have to break the back of the book to read it. So. Which brings me to the question of what type of people actually like listen to jazz? Well, I think, you know, jazz is as I say, it's, it's, it's a great American art form. Yeah. It's, a, it's a gift that America gave to the world. And I think that uh, 
many, many people are interested in jazz. It's, one, I th it's a set that you would want to yeah. have sitting on your coffee table. Absolutely. And uh, I, we're an educational institution. Of course. So we, we designed the set for students, but we also designed it for aficionados and for people who are interested. So we have education with the large E and education with the small E. Uh -huh. Many people are interested in learning and Absolutely. not necessarily in a formal uh, setting. And I think that uh, if somebody uh, reads through the set and listens to the set at the mm -hmm. end of it, they're going to know an awful lot about jazz. Absolutely. Awesome holiday gift idea indeed. And I thank you so much, Richard, for joining us. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Now, for all of you viewers at home, this is truly the ultimate jazz collection ever assembled. To place orders for jazz, the Smithsonian Anthology, simply log on to the web and visit www.folkways.si.edu. Or you can call toll-free to place your orders at 1-888-FOLKWAYS. Once again, the site for easy and secure ordering is www.folkways.si.edu. This set is a must-have for any jazz enthusiast, so be sure to get yours today.